Good afternoon, fellow reefers. This is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. In today's video, I bring you a new edition of Eddie's Reef, a uh, conch snail. Now, these snails uh, have two common names. They're, they're either uh, called a conch snail or a fighting conch. Now, these snails are reef safe and are known to be peaceful within the reef aquariums. The maximum size that these, these snails reach is roughly about two inches in length. Now, they're considered a preferred choice when it comes to a uh, cleaning crew for your aquarium. Uh, the appearance is of a traditional shell shape, like a cylinder or a cone-shaped shell with an uh, elongated opening. The boot, actually, is what you see down there on on the uh, actual shell, the bottom part. Okay, now, uh, they do best in marine setups with at least one inch of substrate. And uh, also something that I found out is that these uh, uh, conch shells should be added on a mature setup. Now, by this, I mean, you know, I uh, roughly it's about uh, one year. In one year, you, you should... One year or a little less is when you have all the living bacteria on the sand and all that. And although you can put them, uh, you, you can also try to put them on a new established aquarium. But due to the fact that in a new aquarium, your parameters are going crazy and all that, what they recommend is to maintain uh, that uh, type of uh, parameters very, very steady. That's why they prefer, really, if you put it when the reef is already mature, where you won't have that uh, type of uh, situation. And uh, like I said before, uh, not, not only a mature setup, but the substrate should be at least one inch. Now, why do I say that? Because if you notice, I don't know if, if you can see it, but if you notice, uh, let me see here. Okay, if you notice there, okay, that's like a, a trunk, like a, a trunk from an elephant. Okay, that's what comes out uh, from the snail, and that's like a vacuum cleaner. It, it digs, it digs in, into the sand, and that's where it goes ahead and, and eats the uh, different particles and algae that are found in the sand. Now, it actually... Uh, it's good for the reef in two cents. Number one, it'll uh, clean the substrate. But two, because of that effect, you know, the uh, trunk going uh, in and, and digging uh, in towards the sand, it actually causes uh, uh, oxygenation in towards the uh, sand because it, it, it's uh, moving it. It's, it's moving the actual sand. Now, these uh, animals are known as um, omnivorous uh, type animals in which their diet con consists of hair algae, things like uh, filamentous algae, cyanobacteria, diatoms, and the detritus. They will also eat uneaten food. So, like, let's say, for instance, if, if you feed your fish and some of the, like, let's say, pellets, they end up on the bottom, they'll go ahead and, and eat that too. And then uh, one final thing that I thought that I mentioned on this animal is that uh, it will eat uh, and keep eating and eating all the algae that's found in the tank. But if you notice and you see that you're running out of algae, what they recommend is to buy uh, dried seaweed, like the, the same seaweed that you buy, you know, for your fish, and then feed it a, a little. And uh, that's basically what I wanted to bring today in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it uh, educational. And if you do, just uh, hit the like button. If you want to make a comment, you're so welcome to do so. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, thank you very much and happy reefing. Thank you. Bye-bye.